welcome back. This video is actually a demo of why double strung harp is so much easier than single strung harp. I know it's, it's counterintuitive because it has all these strings, but it's actually easier. It's an easier harp for the very first harp a person has, and it's easier for basically any skill level. So I'll show you why. So the first thing that makes double strung so much easier for me is it takes less dexterity. Uh, it, it's so much easier to use two hands to get an effect and the overlapping. So if I was going to play that with just one course of strings, and I've actually practiced this a lot before this video because it's so hard for me, but But if I do it on double strung, I just go. Because all I did was in the left hand a G1 5 8 twice. And in the right hand, I was just doing thirds. I only used two fingers. Really easy to, to go wherever you want to go with these. That's all I did. So it, by ping-ponging back and forth, you're sort of weaving these two hands together. I'm going to start with my right hand. The next thing I'd like to show you that makes it easier is you can get the sound of that you've doubled a note, which is actually really difficult to do with one hand. And it's very easy on the double strung. So what's happening there, all I did was two C158s and a G158. Now that's pretty easy. And then with my right hand, it was all the thirds like I did before. And that's pretty easy too. But it sounded hard because it sounded like I was doubling this C. So if I did it on a single strung, I could do it with a fifth down here. I couldn't do a 1-5-8 because there would be only be one C here to play, so. Let's see. But on the double strung, because these, the index finger and the thumb are on the same note. It's just on different string courses. They're not going to run into each other. It sounds like... Difficult. Another thing that makes it easier is you can mix directions. It's hard for one hand to be changing directions a lot, but if it only goes down and the other one only goes up, they have to be in the same register, and you kind of ping-pong them by play a finger on the left hand before you play a finger on the right hand, which is not hard, then it can sound really beautiful, so... Let's see. So on the right hand, I have it in pentatonic tuning. Right hand, I was just going C, B, A, G. Four in a row. That's pretty easy. I'm just going down. And I don't have to go fast. Left hand, I was just doing a, a D, one, five, eight. And the great thing with double is you get to rest in between things, so you don't have to replace really quickly. So... I'm going to go. If I was going to do that with um, on a single row of strings, I could go. Anyway, it would be a lot harder. 
So I'd just rather go down with one hand and up with the other hand. Another thing that makes double strung easier for me is that I can do things that are actually not real fast, but they sound really fast, and they sound really hard, like... Now, if I was going to do that on a single strung, I'd have to go... And I'd never get fast at it. But on, say, on double, it's so easy because I'm not going in two directions with my hand. I'm just putting on three strings, going like that. I'm taking off, taking my time before I get to the next one. It's easy to place on three, easy to play three. Left hand, I'm just playing a third, getting off. That's all I'm doing. But when you put them together, it's... You've gradually speeded up, so it... Another thing is that with mirroring, playing this side and then this side, the same notes, you can get all sorts of beautiful effects. that my hand is resting between playing that and it's pretty easy because it's all in one direction up but if I was going to do this on a single string harp I would go I couldn't do this string because this string is about to play it so I'd go be really hard <laughs> life is too short for me to be hard so on double strung these hands are getting a nice rest, they get off the strings, and I can play whole 1 5 8 here because I can use my thumb since I don't have to worry about running into this. One of the big things that makes double strung harp a lot easier for me than playing single strung is that I can arrange a whole tune with just one five eights. And if I arranged a single strung tune with just one five eights, it can be really pretty for, for a little while and then it gets really boring. But on double strung, you can't tell it's one five eights because there are notes in between the playing of these notes. So I'll, I'll play you an arrangement of Holly and the Ivy that I did with just one five eights and watch my hands. Also, just moving one five eights around is a lot easier than making this shape here and this shape here and then this shape there. So watch my hands. So you saw that my left hand was all 1 5 8s and had some, a little bit of rest time between most of those 1 5 8s.